Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So just earlier on today, I met a lady named Ziyanda who came up to me with her mother, very excited to take a photo because she loves the cooking on Afternoon Express. And she said, I must give Clem a big high five on today's live show. So this is for you, Ziyanda. Thank you just so you, much. Clem. Thank you, Ziyanda. And because today is a Monday, we're going meat free on the show. And because it's a rap kind of Monday, we're going to, whatever, we're going to meat free rap is what we're going to try and do. I thought I could come up with something, but I really yeah. couldn't. I disappointed you I today. I would have saved you. Okay, but? But? You never have in your life and you never will. Great. So, <laughs> halloumi is our alternative that we're using today, which is an interesting cheese. It is, because it's quite a dense cheese and you mm. can treat it as you would meat. Yep. But halloumi is not the hero for the day, it's the vegetables. Okay. And I want to kind of highlight vegetables right now because so often people are put off by vegetables because they don't understand yes. how to cook it. Exactly. And you mentioned this previously on Afternoon Express was try and incorporate vegetables into a delicious meal and you forget that you're eating the vegetables. Don't just steam little pieces of broccoli and then hope that eating them is going to make you happy. Exactly. I'm using some amazing, beautiful broccoli tender stems yeah, that I get from Willie's. My and favorite. Literally, I, they're my weekly staple. And you can eat them raw as well. So we're talking about substituting vegetables or other ingredients for meat. So what I do is I'm going to treat it like a steak. Okay. So first thing is brush some oil on it. <laughs> don't have to get crazy with it. I think Just... you're making a mistake by treating it like a steak. But... <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it's going to work. So you know my rule with meat is always when you, when you sort of hit a hot surface, don't mess with it. Mm. Let it do its own thing. And the same goes for vegetables. So I'm going to take this amazing broccoli and start lining them on a griddle pan. Ooh. Like I just recently bought myself a griddle pan. So this is great for me for this evening. So make this one. Go for it. Send me a picture. Cool, and I our shall. viewers are there as well. Send us a picture if you try this recipe. So the good thing is we don't have to cook this to death. Mm -hmm. So often we are too familiar with vegetables that are cooked like into oblivion. Yeah, they become opaque almost. They and you don't want to do that. They lose all their color and all of their nutrients. Nutrients, color, and texture, and flavor. Like, it's really important. That's everything you lose mm. when you start killing vegetables by boiling forever. So don't do that. Grilling is a perfect way to cook them there because you kind of okay. get in that charry, smoky flavor as you would with meat. But without cooking them straight through so that they become sloppy. Exactly. You've got, got you. it. You're paying got attention. You. So as I said, the halloumi is also great. Same thing. It's almost got that meaty texture mm. already. And it's also got a nice salty texture, well, salty flavor to it. So it's one of those cheeses that you can get different types of halloumi as you go. And I love the way you're saying halloumi when it's halloumi. Okay. We're Bring Greek in here. Halloumi. Halloumi. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Clem. Halloumi cheese. There we go. So all I've done is I've brushed some olive oil on it. And okay. again, once it hits the pan, don't mess with it. Yes. So that's going to go down. And I, like I said, a little bit of olive oil to help it stop sticking, but also a non-stick spray is your best friend. Okay, do cool, it. Great. Especially in a griddle pan, they yeah. tend to stick. They so, do, but a nice little bit of olive oil is a good idea because you obviously wanted to get those that, that charriness on the outside it is. without melting it through. Okay. Exactly. So I'm, I'm a professional. I'm not going to use... I like feeling food as I cook it. So I'm not going to use tongs, but at home, please use the tongs. Yes. Don't burn yourself. Okay. So... Well, we'll just turn it over and you can see already some of those charred lines mm. have started to form. Oh, I do see that. Yeah. Uh, it's not a lot for right now, but I mean, I'll let it cook a little longer. I'm kind of breaking my own yeah. rule here. But you're also at home, it. even though you can't maybe see it, the smell in here, you can definitely smell that. Mm -hmm. They're starting to get that nice little charry, charry flavor to it, which gives it a sort of smoky feel because it's a fresh vegetable. It's a greeny, fresh vegetable. To add that little bit of smokiness is, is, you know, is important. And it also brings out so much additional flavor than just the normal broccoli flavor. Right. So many people are actually put off by broccoli. I think it's because we're cooking it incorrectly. Okay. So definitely to try this. Let's see, maybe my alumi is a little ready. No, it's not, and that's a good thing. If the alumi doesn't lift, it means it hasn't sealed properly just yet. Good tip. Cool. All right, so what's left for us to do in this part? So what in this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season a little bit of salt and pepper on my broccoli, and I'm not oh. gonna put any salt on the cheese, because as you mentioned, it's got cheese. that briny flavor in there already. So I'm gonna continue charring for a little longer, okay. and I'll turn these guys over in a second. When we come back, we're gonna assemble the whole thing. Delicious, the whole bunch more new. Oh, well, I'm tongue-tied on a Monday already, it's been one of those <laughs> weekends. Whole bunch more ingredients still to show you and how to put this whole wrap together. So make sure you stay tuned. If you wanna get the list of ingredients and a link to the recipe, what you're gonna do is SMS the keyword for today, which is wrap, W-R-A-P, to 33650. That SMS will cost you one rand fifty, and your free SMSs do not apply. That's wrap to 33650, and you could be making this for dinner or some time during this week and all the details on how to finish it off a little bit later right here on Afternoon Express. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Clem and Pedro in the kitchen making a wrap because it's 
Kalumi on a meat-free Monday. See, I still I can't get this veggie rap thing going. This mm. rapping to a new tune is not happening. I've seen you rap before, so I know you can. Well, that was also pre-recorded and we shot it about 20 different times. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Uh, Clem is our, obviously chef in the kitchen today. And because it's a Monday, we're going meat-free. We're using halloumi as an alternative to meat. But we're going to show you how to incorporate as many vegetables as you can into this wrap. And these are particularly Clem's favorites that he's putting into mm -hmm. the dish. They really are. So, as you can see, my beautifully charred um, broccoli and halloumi. Yum. So, as I mentioned, we didn't season it with salt. We can do pepper, absolutely. But what's very important is lemon. Okay, Hal how come? Halloumi loves lemon. And it just and so does broccoli. So does broccoli. That's why I've got two cheeks of lemon. It just <laughs> so really Dan's brings Dan. out so much flavor in mm. the cheese and in the broccoli. Okay, cool. Delicious. Cool. And it's also got that zestiness, because obviously that charring flavor of it all is quite... I don't, I don't know how to use this word, but the only word I can think of is like it's dark. And then you get that nice little fresh zestiness of the lemon, which and is like amazing. The dark is probably umami. Yeah. Really, it is. Oh, really? So it brings out the umami flavor in the ingredients. Okay. Can you pop this to the side? We're going to go to the next stage. Sure. So I've got the heaviest my... thing in the world. It is. And it's it nice so and heavy. Light. So I've got my amazing um, cauliflower carb clever wraps. And oh. I love these not just because it's carb clever. They legit taste so good. Really? Yeah, okay. it tastes of cauliflower. I've seen them in the store and I've always never known what to do with them. So now I'm getting great ideas. It's really easy to work with as well mm. because um, all you do is just toast them slightly yeah. and makes them more pliable and Delicious. easy to work with. Okay. So Dan, can you pop in my big platter? Sure. And can I ask a quick question about those wraps? Are they quite hardy? Will they look after themselves? In what sense? As in they won't crumble or break? They off? won't crumble. Okay, good. And I mean, Willie's has spent a lot of time and a lot of effort developing the perfect carb flavor wrap. Because okay, often when you have a carb, like a cauliflower pizza, what yeah. happens is you pick it up, it just falls, falls apart. everywhere. Especially like when you're making like a, a sort of pancake dough sort of thing. That also tends to do the same thing. It tends I to just agree. collapse. Exactly. And nice to know these are sturdy. And you can see I'm like not even using my <clears throat> spatula right now. I'm using my hands because they are just that sturdy. Nice. So cool. That's done. Nice and warm and toasted. So, Dave, another amazing ingredient. Can you pop me the sriracha cream cheese, please? Sriracha cream cheese. Of and you know, we love sriracha in the loft. Totally. I'm not even joking you. The Sunday for my radio show, I always buy a whole bunch of snacks. And what I did was I ended up buying this exact, exact dip because it's actually really nice. Cream cheese with a whole bunch of veggies on the side. It's it delicious. Is delicious. The flavor of sriracha is amazing. So, we've got some protein in the cheese over there and some yep. protein in the halloumi. Yep. Quite high, actually. 20, an average 25 grams of protein per 100 grams of cheese. Sorry, just pop that off the top of your head, hey? No. Yeah. I, I, you have to do some research. We can't <laughs> just come on TV and start talking. <laughs> so, like we always do, Clem. Yeah, of course, we research everything. So. You don't? <laughs> oh, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so some butter lettuce goes down. Yummy. Yeah, and then I've got this amazing crunchy, crunchy Asian slaw, which is so cool because it's been seasoned already, and the little seasoning pouch in the bottom, yeah. which I'm going to serve on the side. So again, that just goes on top of the butter lettuce. Oh, delicious. And it's got nice some crunch. sesame seeds in there. It's got uh, cabbage. It's got carrots. It's got corn. Everything deliciously beautiful and tasty. Okay. So onto that goes my beautiful charred broccoli. Open the coriander for you. Yeah, totally go for it. Do you want some? Cool. And some halloumi. While he's putting those final touches on, obviously add your own little flavors to this dish. Just make sure, obviously, try that Meat Free Monday thing. And if you want to get the details to the recipe, or obviously link to the recipe and a list of all the ingredients, uh, the keyword today is wrap to double three six five zero at a cost of one hundred and fifty. And your free SMSs don't apply. And if you want to know exactly how Claire made this dish, here's a quick recap.